六秒経過。キュガレディオ。七秒経過。ローダローラーだ。Today we are covering the HMS Formidable, also known as Dio. From JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, she is a carrier from the British Navy and the sister from Illustrious. With that, we already know that she is a tanky ship. I mean, her total displacement was at 23,000 tons, so the same as her sister, obviously. But what did she achieve? Well, let's cover her history a little bit. Formidable was built during the Second World War in 1939, so the war was already on the run. Later in the war, she replaced Illustrious. Since she was damaged by German dive bombers, she had some battles, but the most noticeable was a battle against the German battleship Tirpitz, where she hit Tirpitz several times with her dive bombers and damaged her fairly well. After that, she had some battles against the Japanese, and after the capitulation of them, she was put in reserve on August 1947. Seven years later, she was scrapped and never seen again. Sadly, I don't have more time to cover her, but I really recommend you to make a peek into her history. So, well, let's now go over her in as a lane. HMS Formidable is a high-quality meme with the rarity of super rare, even surpassing Sandy the meme legend herself. But you probably wonder how you get her. Well, she is a revenge ship, so you already what's coming. Only obtainable during the Imperial Tragic Comedy event, which supposed to be introducing the new Italian ship in the game. And formidable as well. The only ship that wasn't Italian. And well, let's just say she she destroyed the memes. And not only that, she also was really strong, making all the Italians look weak. Worked well for them. But enough of that. Let's check the actual power of this new meme. First on the list, we have the aviation. She is really good at annoying the enemy. Even so, but that she made it into the top 10 with her 372 stat points. So would be even higher if you wouldn't count the retrofit ships. But yeah, a really great aviation. The only question that rises is if it's really that good in action. And that I can say with a simple yes. I mean, just look at her. She can even stop time. But anyway, next on we have the anti-air. She has rather decent AA. Not the best, but also not the worst. She is around in the middle with her 253 AA points. It sounds rather weak. But when you look from a different perspective, you have even pretty good AA, since the British haven't the best anti-air in the game. What now? Right, her HP, her health pool is really good at 56-36 hit points, not as great as illustrious, but still, her evasion is rather bad with only 31 points, what makes her overall survivability rather decent. I had some moments where she really had struggle staying alive. So I would consider some equipment that improves her HP or a ship that does something familiar. That were her stats. Let's look over her perks now, which is of course the best part of this ship. She has three beautiful perks. The first one is supporting wings. It improves the aviation of your ship by 15%. But for that, you need to equip the ferry albacores. They aren't the best, but the perks description isn't over yet. So let's continue. Then after you equip the albacores, you also get a efficiency increase on this slot by 15%. And that's not all; it gets even better because when you reach this skill to level 10, you will have a 100% chance to launch additional albacores that can deal flooding damage for 9 seconds. Before I forget, formidable isn't the average CV that has every plane type once. You have to torpedo planes for the replacement of the dive bombers. So be ready to fax and DDs. We really talked long about the perk. Let's go over to the next. The name of the perk is, or also no, as don't move an inch. You get a 80% chance to slow down the movement of all ship to zero for 1.5 seconds. It doesn't sound that strong, but when you need to consider that ships like destroyers rely on their movement, you will quickly find out that this ship is a nightmare for DDs. You look at this. Time is stopped, and so many torps are coming at this target. And almost forgot, the first air strike always guarantees you to activate that skill. So really cool for PVP. The last skill is armored hangar. It is like a weaker version of illustrious perk, 
Every time you launch an airstrike, your ships will get a buff. That decreases the damage you take by 8% for 10 seconds. The 8% damage reduction is always active on Formidable herself. So you take a lot less damage than usual. That were her perks. I would say that we should check the equipment now. As for the fighters you can go either with the Seafang or Hellcat fighters, as they also have bombs equipped with good damage, but if you want to have the upper hand in air superiority, you can take the Messer Schmidt BF, since they have the best DPS in the game. For the torpedo bombers there is really one choice, and it's the Ferry Albacore. It's the gimmick of the ship, since you need them to use her full potential. I wouldn't use her if you don't have these bombers, but if you really want you can also take Ferry Barracudas. They are best torpedo bombers in the game, but sadly wouldn't activate Formidable's perk. And lastly the auxiliary equipment. You can go with two steam catapults, and you good to go. You would have with easier aviation with more than 500 points, since the albacores increase to aviation by 15% each. When I use her without Queen Elizabeth, I replace one catapult with the repair toolkit, since she often take a good amount of damage. But in the end, it's your choice. Now we have covered formidable with that, now you can stop bragging, to do a guide on her, it's a great ship, especially for the memes, I had seen her shine really good in PvE, I don't know, if her PvP performance is so great as against bots, but we will see, so with that, I will go back into my corner, and regret my decision, that I bought that unicorn skin, robot voice out.